Jesper Lindstrom is set to undergo medical at Everton after the Blues agreed a loan deal for the Napoli winger. The 24-year-old Danish winger joined Napoli last season. Didn't have a great season at Napoli, it must be said, but there was a lot of stuff going on in Napoli. Everton have managed to secure him it seems, on a loan deal with an option to buy 24 years of age. Like I said, he can play right side, he can play left side or through the middle um, where as an attacking midfield play. That's probably where he's performed the best. But it gives Sean Dyche options right and left, doesn't it? And, th- and off the striker as well. So Everton need more creativity. They need more um, goals if he can bring them. He, like I say, last season, I'm just putting to one side. But I'd seen him playing in Germany for Frankfurt, and he was very good. Uh, he also had a good, de- well, a decent record goal scoring wise at Bromby as well. So decent signing for Everton, I think, if it, you know, once it's completed. And Everton are still trying to bring in Willie Nonto as well from Leeds United. More stuff coming out of Yorkshire today. Leeds kind of expecting that deal to go through. Nonto's made no secrets of his desire to join Everton. He did it last summer. Uh, Everton couldn't get the deal done then there is more optimism this time round that the, the Blues will get that one over the line if you're bringing in Lindstrom and Nonto into those wide as options in the wide areas uh, Illiman and Dyke can also operate out there it's given Sean Dyke real options that maybe he didn't have last season Everton need more creativity and need more goals hopefully these attacking players will do that and give us a give us a more potent threat this season. Uh, sticking with Illiman and Dai, he has been answering questions on Everton's website today. It's on the YouTube channel as well. And he, what he said was one of the questions was asked what would be his dream goal to score for Everton. And he said he would love to score the winner in a Merseyside derby and an individual goal as well. Uh, he also said the the Everton player he admires the the most, or sorry, the ex Everton player he would have liked to play with the most is James Rodriguez. I think we'd all like James' creativity and goals now. Uh, what a player he was. And he uh, was asked what he can bring to Everton's squad this season. And he said creativity, things he can bring that creativity but maybe lacking a little bit. Also, assists and goals. Said I'm attacking player. That is what I should be providing for the team. And he's absolutely right. Obviously, Everton. I've had, and Kevin Thelwell's had an interest in him for a while. He made his debut as a, a half-time substitute in Friday's last Friday's 3-3 draw with Sligo. Showed some good, you know, some nice touches, but obviously we're expecting to see more from him as he gets fit at Everton. Face Salford City this Saturday, don't you? We expect to see more of him in that one. But hopefully he can provide more creativity and goals because it is a team that with the second worst goal scoring record in the Premier League last season. And I think the manager said in an interview as well that we can't rely on the defence being perfect every game. We have to score more goals. And this this type of creativity, the type of plays Everton trying to bring in, will hopefully add to that. And then die is one of those, of course. And finally, Everton women have completed the signing of the Japanese international Hanoki Hayashi. Uh, That is subject to international clearance. Hayashi have been at West Ham and she's currently away with the Japanese Olympian squad playing at the uh, Paris Olympics. So welcome and good luck to her. That is it for the News Daily. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We're very close to 87,000 subscribers. So thank you to everybody who has bothered to hit the subscribe button. For the rest who haven't, just press it now. Only takes a sec. See you later.